Good morning, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Unscripted and Unchained RPG Review. I am Game Master Bloodworth, and as you can see, uh, today is the first time that I am attempting to do a, uh, a video, a video recording using Restream and going directly to um, going directly to the services that I uh, upload to. So uh, I've been having some trouble with uh with download speed or upload speeds i should say so i want to see if changing the um changing the format is uh the difference so rather than using xsplit which i normally use i'm going to be doing this test run uh using restream so hopefully that corrects my problem if not i have uh i have um spectrum cable arriving friday morning to see if they can get to the bottom of my upload issues. So I'm not having any trouble downloading, but uploading is a big deal. So um, that being said, uh, today's video is not just a kind of a testing out of that, but um, I am going to start doing a, uh, a deep dive into Adventures Dark and Deep uh, Second Edition. I've received the um i have received the uh, sorry about that i've received the uh, the pdfs the uh, the initial pdfs uh, although they have to have some um additions put into them uh, such as the cover and title pages and things like that but um but they're essentially done and i already started looking at them and i'm going to do a comparison between the old and the new uh, so first edition and second edition, um, but I'm going to do a much, much deeper, deep up dive. Um, if I can't get my upload issue corrected, those are going to be live streams. So those will be deep dives that I'm doing on live uh, stream because I, those I know go directly up and uh, without delay. So uh, as I said in a previous uh, tech video, uh, be on the lookout for more live streams, and um, and that might be the case for at least the foreseeable future until I get this sorted out. So without further ado, let me uh, share screen here, and I'm going to show you, um, I'm going to switch back and forth between the two, uh, between the two versions. Uh, so this is, this is first edition right here that you should be seeing, and I'm gonna double check to see that you're seeing it as well. So this is first edition. Uh, these are, this is Adventures Dark and Deep, written by Joseph Block. I've met Joseph a number of times. He's a really great guy, uh, fantastic vendor at, uh, you know, at the conventions that I attend. And so, um, you know, I first met him a couple of years ago and, um, you know, Again, really great guy, writes awesome stuff. So um, I highly recommend uh, Adventures Dark and Deep uh, for you to take a look at. It is kind of, he he describes it as the game Gary Gygax would have written if uh, he didn't leave TSR. So it falls somewhere in between uh, AD&D first edition and uh, AD&D second edition with some third thrown in there uh to boot so it's uh you know it is a much more um uh, modernized um at least back in the day kind of if you thought about it uh a much more modernized uh, take on a d and d first edition uh but it, it holds many of the uh many of the same aspects of a d and d first edition so this is the this is the old all right so this is the first edition and i'll find a page that um can show you this in, in pretty good detail and then let me switch and go to the same page uh essentially if i can find it if they do match up and let's go to this page all right, so I'm at 175. So I want to make sure I'm at the same resolution as well. <coughs> and that, I believe, was page three. 
Um, yeah, so it's already different. Let's get to that same page, though, if I can find it. Um, no, it is dramatically different. So uh, let's get to something that was the same. So let's go to this page here. And let's get back over to that same introductory page. Here we go. Details. Uh, is that it? No. Yeah, so I mean, he definitely formatted this a lot different. What I was looking to do, let's see if the preface is, uh, he calls it a forward here. All right, so this is it. This is the same thing. All right, um, you can tell the difference between the two. Now, these are both at 175%, and I'm hoping I am flipping back and forth for you to see here. Um, um, let's see, I think you're only seeing the forward. You're not seeing, so let me, let me stop sharing. And then let me share the second. There you go. I, I mean, on my uh, on the other, I'd be able to do this back and forth. Uh, so maybe that's one issue I'm going to have here in doing comparisons. But the the font is clearer and larger than uh, in the older edition, uh, in the first edition. So that's something that I think is very, very much improved. Um, something I certainly like as, as my, as my a eyes are aging, you know, uh, a clearer and, uh, and more cleaned up font is certainly uh, better uh, to see. Now, to just give you a preview of the table of contents here. So you have the preface, you have the overview of the game, you have the role of the game master, the role of the players, you have your ability scores, and uh, you have your character races. Now, the character races are slightly different here. You have centaurs, you have dwarves, elves, gnomes, half drow, uh, halflings, half orcs, and humans. You have character classes. These are also a little bit different. You have... Um, Bards, Jesters, Scalds, Cavaliers, Blackguard, uh, which is a, a um, like an anti-Cavalier, like a Black Knight. Uh, Paladin, you have uh, Cleric, Druid, Vate, uh, Vates, Vates, which is a type of Druid, a Mystic, which is a type of Cleric. You have Fighter, Barbarian, Ranger, uh, Magic User, Illusionist, Savant, Thief, Acrobat, Assassin, and Montebank. All right, so um, so some different classes here. Um, some were in AD&D 1st Edition were subclasses like Acrobat was a subclass of Thief, um, uh, where you had to be a Thief first and then you became an Acrobat Thief. Um, assassin is reintroduced here to, um, to Adventures Dark and Deep. Then we go into secondary skills, which you have a, a much more uh, vibrant uh, secondary skill system uh, like you did in AD&D 2nd Edition. Uh, then you get into character creation, and I am going to break this down um, in much more detail uh, over the series of videos that I do on there. Again, I'm just testing out this... Uh, you know, this recording here, and then you get through everything else. So all of the contents of what would have been a, uh, a player's handbook and a dungeon master's guide have been included in one book now. So it's not two separate books. And as you can see, the page count is now pushing up to uh, 481 pages in this first book. I will spend a separate, I'll start, I'll stop sharing. I will spend a separate video uh, and a separate video series, obviously focusing on the monster manual, uh, which I also have the PDF for. So uh, again, it's another, um, you know, another 
aspect of this game system now, which is only two volume set, uh, that I think is uh, really going to make it stand out in the fact that, uh, you know, I like having a two volume set over a uh, over a three volume set uh, in some cases. And um, the game is just too big to put it all in one volume. Otherwise, you're looking at something like, uh, you know, DCC's uh, Weird Frontiers with a you know, 600 page book or, or 900 page book when they combine everything together. So, um, so I'm hoping that, um, I get this internet issue and, and uploading issue resolved. Um, but, uh, if not, uh, then I will just deal with the, um, deal with just going live, uh, because as I said, live streams go up right away and, uh, without that kind of a delay, and um, my, my presentations will be even more unscripted and unchained because, uh, you know, there'll, there'll be fewer, you know, restarts and, and, you know, beginning all over again and, and scrubbing that 30 second video or whatever that where I had a big interruption or something. So um, this will be a good test to see how fast it uh, uploads. This is about a 10, 12 minute uh, video. And, um, you all have a great rest of your day. And uh, as always, uh, remember to like and subscribe. Uh, you can scan this little Q, uh, QCR code up here. There's a QRC, QRC code up here uh, to join the channel uh, as a subscriber. And then from there, you can uh, choose to hit the, uh, the alert button and uh, comment on the video. And... Um, and even become a member if that's uh, if you're so inclined to become a member to the channel as well. You'll have a great one. Uh, also, another note that this will be the first time that I am uh, uploading directly to uh, Twitch TV. So uh, I do have an account on Twitch TV. I've had one there forever, and I've never actually posted anything on it. I just follow other channels. So. Um, so yeah, this will be the first one going to Twitch TV as well. So I welcome any of those viewers to it. I'm going to do a separate video just as an introduction to Twitch TV as well. So you all have a great one and take care.